Good morning. It's about five in the morning. My buddy Kevin is about to pick me up and we're gonna go offshore. I didn't get to sleep till about 1.30 in the morning because I'm a little sick and I have a hard time sleeping when I can't breathe through my nose. So I'm tired and I'm still a little sick, but I'm ready to catch some fish. Well, there's a boat coming, so that's gotta be Kevin. Yes, it is. And east wind, southeast is good because that's a good direction if you anchor up, you always can sit right. If it's if it's west or southwest, when you anchor up, the boat always sits on the wrong side of the ledge. Dave, that turned on the first try. It amazes me. I mean, this thing will sit for three months and he'll do that. He's got those super batteries in there that they're like 80 pounds a piece. <laughs> they're huge. Gotta watch that horn. There's the horn. That yeah, thing's that that's sharp. That's why they call them horn bellies. But cobia like these, they we've got cobia. This bait's missing an upper lip. Stinger rig for the kingfish, you know, and I caught quite yeah. a few cobias. That whole stinger rig. Oh, well, maybe a kingfish will swim by while we're bottom fishing. That's what we do. I always put that on. off the boat. I didn't even have time to get a rod in the water yet. <laughs> I'm still on my morning yeah, beer. Up, Believe it or not, Kevin, this wait, is wait, my wait, first wait, wait, beer wait, in like wait, a week. Wait, 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 Snapper. 
Oh, look at that, I caught bait. There you go. I might as well just send him back down. Oh. All right. Woo. On here. All right. On the free line. Is that a remora? Yeah, I can, I'll grab that sucker. Yeah, the screen's marked, it's good fit. Okay, you can like, well, I can drop it in the water. Oh, okay. I think so. Boom. Nice. Oh, all right. I'll take that one. Take that one. Let's see. Kind of swimming out to the side. I think it's a bigger fish this time. A bigger Amora. <laughs> a bigger Amora? I hope not. He's swimming like against the current. Oh, it looks like a kingfish. He won. Uh, I, oh, yep, there is some color right there. Is that it? Gets to become a movie star. Yeah. Put him lower than 
than the gunnel. Lower than the gunnel, see? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's pretty beefy. Yeah, I believe so. On something. I got toothed. Bingo. Ooh, I need. I have a nice one. Boom. Oh. Man, he was ripping drag out of here. It was tight. Yeah. That's a big boy. That's a big snapper. I wonder what broke. <laughs> Oh, it's a kingfish? Oh, jeez. Long leader. On mono. Oh. Oh. <laughs> As you said, it's on mono. Ting! It's coming right for us. God. Maybe King. Any color? Yeah, I just see the color. You got a fish on too? Woo, another king. Nice. See what it is. Somebody get a gaff. He's such a keeper. Uh, the gaff's up there. Uh, what is it? Big cobia oh. or big cobia? Oh. Big cobia. Holy smokes!
film this. That's a beast cobia right there. Right in the head, man. It's that tense moment where... Uh, Up to the get your hook out first. Can you fire? Got, got him. So he bleed out so he'll have nice white meat. Bleed him out? Yeah, he's, yeah. that's what he's doing here right now. He's in the gills. All except for snapper two groupers, you bleed him. Go up in the head. Rain him. Hey. Here it is. That's it. Good job, Dan. Man, there's stuff everywhere. That was that was freaking sweet. That was sick. Dang that! How much do you think that thing weighs? Thirty-five. Forty. Oh! Ooh, yeah, you got one too. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. How did that come off? Woo! Oh. Is super stubborn. Oh, yeah. Yep. I 
love fish you don't have to measure. Something grabbed mine. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, but he's just pulling drag. Can't go this way. Woohoo! Honestly, it doesn't feel like a shark, though. This might be a cobia, then. Yeah. Might be. He ran. Out, huh? Yeah, he's running all the way. Whew. It like a slide. Oh, it, it just it popped off. How? Oh man! Yeah, it was just cut clean off. Whew! Dang. <laughs> Don't let this shark eat him. Get him, Dave. Get him up. Get him up. Get him up. Woo! Oh, oh. <laughs> damn. Maybe. Woo. I feel a lot better now. I feel better. Water helps. Rose. see color he's swimming yeah that would be sweet <laughs> he will be once there's a hook in him all right where is he going Oh, he's going, uh, okay, this could be it, oh shit, <laughs> I didn't even see him coming, I was just, <laughs> that was crazy.
went from blowing chunks to gaffing a fish there. on uh, patented uh, loading device. We got a patent on it. A patented loading device. Lube it up, it, it'll it'll go automatically. It needs a yeah. little spray of CRC. A little bit of spray. Ten years ago, didn't need lube. Years I ago. guess that happens to humans too. It does. <laughs> Looks like four kings. What's left in there? Just the big cobia? What's that bogey grip way up to? It's only 30, but. <laughs> oh yeah, he's bottomed. He's bottomed out. Oh yeah. He's bottomed out at he was bottomed out at 30 before. Let's get a nice picture of him. Yeah. Yeah, okay. baby. Woo! I'd say it's Feels like 40, Dan. Feels like about a 45 pound plate. <laughs> Perfect. That's a lot of tails sticking out of there. There's so much blood under the boat. It's great.
How's it going? Yeah, but he doesn't want to take it. There you go. Oh, the bucket of water. Huh? Take it. Right behind me. Water is healed now. Woo wee! Nice Kobe all. I know ground trick is on that one. That's a monster. Ooh! Get Woo! Oh, yeah. Good. Thank you. Uh, no, I'm very. Just walked back to the boat, grabbed the fillet knife. Time to fillet this pile of meat, and then we're gonna cook it. Woo! It was the other guy's son. Uh, they went over there and we took him out. Oh, Puerto Rico? Yeah. What's that? I got the bottle hooked up, double header, and the sharks come up. Yeah. 50 pound wallow, 60 pound wallow, and the sharks just bite off right at the back yeah. of the right at the back of the head. We lost I lost a couple snappers today with the, for the sharks. I had two for sure. Nice Rico. Let me look that guy up and on with you. There's an airport right there. It's where you fly into if you want to surf. When I was there, there's no airport there. You gotta fly into San Juan. Care for the green go. Excuse me for a while. Jeffrey the Gringo? Yeah. Well, that's it. <laughs> that's probably what they call him, because if, you know, if you're a Gringo down there, everybody's got a name. Yeah, there's. Uh... Dan, I'll let you divide it up. I took I took a couple pieces of Kobe and a couple pieces of snapper and a couple pieces of kingfish. So. Oh, guys, riding the wrong way. <laughs> I hate when guys ride the wrong way. Later. There she goes. Just dropped off my resting place. There's a hawk chilling. Just cruising down to the beach right now. Got some water, trying to rehydrate because I am dead. This video is probably a little blurry because it's on my phone and the front selfie camera is cracked. Uh, but I had a great time fishing with you, Kevin. Thanks for inviting me out on your boat. If you don't know, I pretty much grew up fishing out of Fort Pierce Inlet on Kevin's boat eight plus years ago, back when I was in high school, which is kind of crazy to think how long ago that was. Actually, it's more than eight years ago. I'm gonna take that Kobe and cook it probably today or tomorrow, but I'm going spear fishing for Kobe tomorrow. So I don't know if I'll be home for dinner and I'm gonna put the the kingfish in this smoker in my brand new smoker so I don't know if I'll make that a separate video or if I'll add that to this video you know what I think okay I'm gonna cook the cobia for this video and I'm gonna cook I'm gonna cook the or smoke the the kingfish in a in its own video that'll come out right afterwards or else it would be way too long of a video Honestly though, I'm probably going to cook the cobia tomorrow because I am so tired and I have some food that I don't have to cook, so I think I might just eat that. But tomorrow we'll be cooking the cobia, so see you there. Got the cobia all set up, got three pieces. I'm going to be doing a light breading on it. And for the sides we got some sweet potatoes, some asparagus, which we're going to cover in salt and pepper and olive oil. Fry those up in a pan. Put the lemon on the cobia. And we're only going to be breading one side of the cobia. We're just going to peel the sweet potatoes. 
then we're going to cube them, put them in the oven. Just going to slice and dice them into cubes. Maybe like half, half an inch thick cubes. Once it's all cubed up, just sprinkle a little bit of olive oil on it. Whoop. And then a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. And just a tiny bit of pepper. Kind of mix it up a little bit. Spread, spread that oil around. Yeah, boy. All right. I'm not really sure how long these cook for, but I'm gonna say 10, 15 to 20 minutes. If I had to take a wild guess, I'm gonna treat the asparagus the same way. As the sweet potatoes with olive oil, salt, and pepper. You can never have enough olive oil. Alright, the fish we're just gonna very lightly salt and on both sides and we're going to bread one side of the fish just one side all right this pot's steaming real hot ready for the asparagus i hope it doesn't blow up my face perfect gonna take a piece of cobia bread one side of it, and then we're going to lay the non-breaded side down first. Oh shit. My bread's on fire. Tried some and it's amazing. 